Okay, so on this video, we're going to discuss what a second deacon is. I am a Scorpio. My birthday is November 6, 1968, and I am a second deacon. So I started looking it up. So let's read this, and then we're going to go on to something very interesting. Long before the existence of a 12-sign zodiac, Egyptian astrologers carefully watched the sky for new stars coming into visibility at 10-day intervals. The rising of these new stars brought new gods and new magical powers to the fore. And these were considered so important that they even used at, were even used as guides for the dead to navigate the afterlife. <clears throat> Mesopotamia astrologers incorporated these 10 degrees uh, divisions into the zodiac and they became known as deacons to the Greeks who gave them a special place in the scheme of essential dignitaries. The special power of the deacons has always been seen to be about fate and our ability to change it through magic. So um, here it is. The most common system of rulership for deacons follows the Chaldean order where the planets are arranged in terms of speed from slow to fast. Thus, from Saturn down to Jupiter, Mars, Sun, Venus, Mercury, and finally the Moon. In this system, the three deacons of Scorpio are ruled by Mars, the Sun, and Venus. Um, I am really ruled by the Sun <clears throat> and Venus. <clears throat> the Golden Dawn system and the various tarot decks produced by its members, including the Rider Weight. The most common deck in use often show the influence of these deacon rulers quite clearly in the associated minor arcana cards. In this system, the three deacons of fixed signs belong to the fifth, sixth, and seventh of the associated suit. In this case, cups are the tarot suit for the water signs. So whenever I get tarot cards five, six, and seven, those are specifically for me. So who are the Chaldeans? Do you know? Check this out. This is cool, cool, cool. The Chaldeans are all over in the Bible, and the Chaldeans are, uh, drink my coffee here. The Chaldeans are the children of Israel, the future Israel. Israel means a group of people. Okay, the Chaldeans were people who lived in southern Babylonia, which would be the southern part of Iraq today. Sometimes the term Chaldeans is used to refer to Babylonians in general, but normally it refers to a specific semi-nomadic tribe that lived in the southern part of Babylon. The land of Chaldeans was the southern portion of Babylon of Mesopotamia. It was generally thought to be an area about 400 miles long and 100 miles wide alongside the Tigris and Euphrates River. You don't say that used to be our home. And let me tell you, Hillary Clinton wanted to go into Iraq to get into uh, what's-his-face's tomb. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Anyways, let's keep going. The Chaldeans are mentioned multiple times in the Bible in both contexts. For example, Genesis 11:28 speaks of Abraham's father, Terah, who lived in Ur of the Chaldeans, home to the specific tribe of or people known as Chaldeans. We know from verses such as Genesis 11.31 and Genesis 15.7 that God called Abraham a descendant of Shem out of Ur of the Chaldeans so that Abraham would follow God to the land that God had promised to him and his descendants. The Chaldeans were an intelligent and sometimes aggressive warlike people. In 731 <clears throat> B.C., Eucanizer, a Chaldean, became king of Babylon. However, his reign was short-lived. A few years later, Merodach and Baladin, also a Chaldean, became king over Babylon. Then in 626 BC, Nab Nabopolassar, another Chaldean, began that would be an extended period of time during which Babylon was ruled by a Chaldean king. During this time, the word Chaldean became synonymous for Babylon. Hello. And we see many verses in scripture where the word Chaldean was used to refer to Babylons in general. Isaiah 13, 9, 47, 1 to 5. Isaiah 48, 14 to 20. Successors to Nabopolazar were Nebuchadnezzar. Neba, Nebuchadnezzar, I don't, and Marduk, Nabonius, and then Belsh, Belshazzar, king of the Chaldeans, Daniel 530. 
at the height of the Babylonian Empire, this is so beautiful, the Chaldeans were an influential and highly educated group of people. Some historians believe that after Persia conquered Babylon, Babylon, the term Chaldean was used more often to refer to a social class of highly educated people, knowledge, wisdom, the bites of the apple. Oh, we gained it, didn't we? Hmm, that's interesting. Then to a race of man. The Chaldeans were used more often to refer to a social class of highly educated people than to a race of man. Got it? The Chaldeans influenced Nebuchadnezzar's decision to throw Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego into the fiery furnace. Biden, Hillary, and Obama. Hello. Daniel 3.8. Go read Daniel 3.8. It says, uh, therefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came forward and miraculously accused the Jews. We're, we're not Jews. We're Chaldeans. They're the Jews. Okay. And were well known as wise men and astrologers during the time of Jewish captivity in Babylon. Daniel 1, 4, 2, 10, 4, 7, 5, 7, and 11. Read those. At the time of Daniel, Babylon was the intelligent, the te- Babylon was the intellectual center of Western Asia. Oh, we're just finding that out. They're doing bad stuff in Asia. We got to copy it. We got to go over there and learn culture. And the Chaldeans were renowned for their study of knowledge and astrology and astro- astronomy. They kept detailed astronomical records for over 360 years, which can help us understand how the wise men from the East would have been able to recognize and follow the star that would lead them to the king of the Jews, Matthew 2, 2, saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. King of the Jews is Trump, but, uh, it's really hard to explain it. <clears throat> Jews can be Jews in the Bible are a group of people who seek salvation. Jews are not a race of people. Okay. Uh, the Bible goes way further than what Jew the Jewish land is. Okay. It's a prophecy. So how do they get you to believe it? Change the world. Yep. That's what they did. Now, I want to go back and read this, Daniel 5.30. Did we read it? That very night, Belshazzar the Chaldean king was killed. <gasps> oh, his very successors to Nabopolassar were Nebuchadnezzar, which is Trump. This is Trump. Ammo Marduk and Belshazzar, king of the Chaldeans. He was killed. Hmm, that's very interesting. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the splendor and pomp of the Chaldeans will be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, they're playing, they're pretending to be Chaldeans. We're the Chaldeans. Holy cow, they're pretending to be Chaldean. We are Chaldean through astrology, not birth. I mean, not skin color. Come sit down in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. That's us. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. We're going to rise up and take this shit back. Anyways, that's what a Chaldean is. Look into your mirror, folks. 